Hey guys, it's Carrie from Garden Rudiments and today we're going to plant up the rest of this fountain. We're going to do the third tier and it's going to be all with succulents where the second tier had all sempervivums and the top tier had sedum. So let's get started on this project. So thank you for watching today, and I'm going to tell you kind of what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do an experiment with some string of pearls, and this is for Janita and for Sue in the UK. Uh, they have problems growing string of pearls, and I have in the past, but in this fountain I had no problems with them at all. But I want to show you uh, about the string of pearls right now. This larger pot has been in the greenhouse, or all of these have been in the greenhouse. But this one is sunburned. Um, it's gotten a little dried out. I've got some damaged pearls on top. Got a piece there that looks like it's dead. It's dried up. So I'm gonna pull it out. And I'm gonna plant these on opposite sides. So on this side, which is the west side, it's gonna be more in shade and up and under this, this covered area. This side will get more full morning sun and more of the late afternoon sun as the sun goes across the sky. So this is the south side, east side, west. So I'm not gonna plant them on the north side, which would be more all shade, but I'm gonna plant this larger one in the shade because it's got some damage to it. We'll see how it perks up. This is where I had my string of pearls last year. And I want to just kind of experiment and for the benefit of Sue and Janita, since they've asked me about them, we're going to experiment and see how these do in the different areas. And then I also have a, a burrow tail here. It's got some new growth on it, but it hasn't grown a lot. I'm going to put it more to the south, uh, more to the north, northwest, and see uh, if I can get it to grow better. But we're going to add some potting mix to this before we plant them because this is pretty low right now. And I've got two bags here, which should be plenty. I just want enough that they've got fresh mix. And we're actually uh, under the threat of some thunderstorms, although I think it's gonna miss us. I was hoping we would get some rain today, but uh, let's we'll see if we can get this out of the pot without doing any damage to it. There we go. I always put a hardware cloth in the bottom of my pots to keep the soil from, from going out of the hole. So this is my larger plant. I don't see any mealybugs or aphids on it. It's always good to check all the way down. I don't know, there may be a few mealybugs. If it is, we'll treat it with a little bit of alcohol. But I'm gonna tuck this one right up into the side and I'm gonna turn it sideways a little bit and I'm gonna let this go off the, the side of it. If I can get it in there just a little bit deeper. Now, Cover the roots up. Now these have not been watered. The string of pearls and the string of bananas haven't. So I will give them a little bit of water after I get them in here. So you can see where I have it there from the side and I just made sure I covered the root ball. So now we'll go to the other side. I'm just gonna break up what's in here getting very windy. It's just not going to hurt anything. It feels good. It's actually cooling off some here. We've had some really hot, dry weather. Temperatures have stayed in the 90s. Okay, so this small pot of string of pearls is going to get a lot more sun.
and I'm going to tilt this to the side because I want the pearls to have an opportunity to to cascade off the side. That's what looks so pretty in the fountain. So that's how simple that is to plant. And then the burrow tail and all three of these are very dry. They did need watering. I want it to have the opportunity to, to grow and to hang off the side. So those two are planted. You can see how I have them uh, where the, the strings can go off the side. And I'm on the south end looking north. So now we're going to put all of our other plants in. The tray of succulents that's in the first of the video, this is what I'm using. I may need to go and pick out some more. I don't know if this will be enough. But the tray that they're in holds water. It doesn't have any holes. And I put water in this yesterday and let these soak up the water overnight so that the root balls, you know, um, were completely saturated. And the plants had the opportunity to take up water. So I'm going to start with some of these darker greens. Not that I think it matters that much. But I'm not going to put any of these just out towards the front. These will get really large. And I'm going to leave some space around them. And I'm going to face them out. Like that. Instead of up and turned up like this, I want them faced out. And I have several of the larger plants and you can see all of the babies on this one. Let's see if it has a name. It says Echeveria Violet Queen. Now what I hate about taking these out of the pots of the ones that actually have a name on them, I will never remember what they are. So I'm gonna <clears throat> pull these out and then I may go get me some name tags while I still have their name in my head and go put some tags that I can stand up behind the plants and still still be able to know what they are. So this one just said Echeveria Assorted. This is Echeveria Violet Queen. Very pretty. Well, I also have a string of fish hooks. I'm going to put it over here close to my string of pearls. This is a newer plant that I have. I'm not sure where it came from, I guess from um, Home Depot, but we'll see if we can get some new growth out of it. And this one is a set of Varia. It says Lilac Mist. I actually have several of these. And the plants I've chosen to put out here are mostly plants that I haven't repotted from the container that they were purchased in. So they really need to come out of these little small pots and get into some new soil mix and let their roots have a chance to expand. This is a spearhead senecio. Isn't that pretty? I know this one does take more water. And it's it's done really well. Look at the look at the root formation on this one. I'm gonna tuck it up in here. I like to know that they get a little bit of shade up and under there, but they will grow and actually come up and hit the top. And this is a plant that I know likes the full sun. This is Sedum Firestorm. I can't say that it likes the full sun. I guess I should take that back, but it will do well. It will get all these pretty colors because it's stressed out. And this plant has gotten too large for this container. So this is Sedum adolfii. And I'm gonna set it down here just because I know it will tolerate the sun better than some of these others. And if I see as I go along, and these are maturing, that one is not do doing well, I can always move them. 
This is Echeveria Dusty Rose, and it has gotten leggy. I do keep my pots with all the names, and I can always go back and look at the video to see what these are. And this is a very pretty one. What I was trying to think of a while ago, I like to plant these kind of in a ribbon. I don't try to fill in all of the dirt. I don't try to fill in all of the soil mix. One thing, it would take all the plants that I have because it takes a lot to actually plant this up. And then another thing, I know that they're going to expand and grow and get bigger. Okay. So I'm actually happy with this area. If I need to fill in, I'm going to go get my tray of my small succulents that I've been uh, starting from leaves, from cuttings, and I'm going to fill in with them. Now let's go to the other side. So these are some of the babies I've been growing. I've got Graptopetalum paraguinase, Graptocetum California sunset, and these are set of area hybrid lilac mist. And then here is Echeveria Caribbean. I love their color, this light green, bluish green, kind of reminds me of the Caribbean. And then here in the corner, I don't know if you can see it, Nope. In that bottom right hand corner is the moonstone that I've managed to propagate. But we're going to take these and we're going to add some just to fill in. Look at the nice root systems they have. I know these will do great. I'm so proud of them. And I've got all different kinds of plants here. I don't even know what all of them are. It's just if I lose a leaf and it's a healthy leaf, I don't throw it away. I lay it down on some soil mix and I let it go just to see what will happen. So I'm putting enough soil mix to support the plant. I think it looks great and I'm proud of it and I can't wait to see how it grows.